this video is about logarithmic differentiation. It's example 28. Example 27 was the first one. We went over something a bit more straightforward, but I've got an interesting problem here to have a look at. It's kind of wedding cake uh, expression here. Y equals x to the power of x squared. So it looks slightly bizarre. Maybe you've never come across that before. How do we differentiate it? Well, we can use logarithmic differentiation, like we used in the previous example. We take the log of both sides. And in doing so, we can use the particular log rule, which says that uh, if we have a, a log term has a power, we can rewrite it as a coefficient or a multiplier. And so we can write it like that instead. It's a very good rule to help make calculations so much easier. Once we've got it in that form, we can differentiate it using our implicit differentiation. Uh, and we do that by stating our desire to differentiate both sides with respect to x. We've got a mixture of x terms and y terms here. Um, here, on the left-hand side, the log of y becomes 1 over y which is differentiating in terms of y, so we need to multiply always by dy by dx. On the right-hand side, we have two terms in x. We've got x squared, and we've got the log of x. In the previous example, we had the log of 2, a number, which is a constant, but this isn't a constant, so we have two terms in x, so we must use the product rule for that. So. We're trying to differentiate this. You can do it in the problem or you can do it at the site. If we said that u is x squared and v is the log of x, then the derivative of u is 2x. The derivative of v is 1 over x. And therefore, the derivative of x squared times the log of x is going to be u dash v plus u v dash if you want to use that particular rule which becomes 2x times the log of x plus x squared over x which can simplify to 2x times the log of x plus x because the x squared and the x cancel down. We can rewrite this back in to the main body of our problem equals 2x times the log of x plus x. We have got a common factor of x there, so we could say that that would be x times 2 log x plus 1. And the last thing that we've got to do is to rearrange it in terms of dy by dx, which means we multiply through by y. I'll bring the y over to the other side multiplying by everything on the right-hand side. But in order to express it in terms of x, we need to substitute y for its original value, which was x to the power x squared. So we finish off by substituting ah, finish off by substituting dy by dx equals, instead of y, we write x to the power x squared multiplied by x times 2 log x plus 1. We've got two x terms there multiplying, so we can add them together. x to the power 1 multiplied by x to the power x squared just becomes x to the power x squared plus 1 multiplied by the 2 log of x. Probably the best way to finish it off. You could probably leave your answer in a slightly different form, but that way works for me. And therefore we've got our derivative of our original function. We've got one more example, which I'll show you how to use the logarithmic differentiation, even when there's not a power of x, where x is not uh, part of the exponent, but it's a useful way to use technique anyway. So you can check that out. That's the next example.